Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, the Ninja Viver here, and man, it, it's been like a hot minute since I did an R unboxing since my since my my early um my early birthday, you know, unboxings, you know, pretty much. Uh, wow. So since ever since you know my early unboxings and like you know whatnot. Uh, wow. Uh, ever since then, uh, it's just it's been uh, it's, wow. I mean, it, that is like seriously the last ones I ever did. Uh, from what I remember, anyway, at least at least from what I can remember. But yeah, uh, thank you all those who saw my early early birthday unboxings. Speaking of birthday, by the time I'm recording this, uh, pretty damn soon it'll be my birthday, less than like four days. So yeah, uh, hopefully you're uh, you know doing quite good. Uh, hopefully you're um, I mean, hopefully. What, why am I saying it like it's for everyone's birthday? Like it's it's everyone's birthday that same day. It's like a national holiday. Like happy birthday day or some. It's, it's fucking weird. I don't even know. The, just. <laughs> just don't mind me. But anyways, yes. This has been a hot minute since I've done this. So I might as well just, you know, get it on. And decide to actually do this. Now, also, a little side note, though. Uh, the only Blu-ray player that I do have recently is the PS3, right? And here's a little bit of a uh, thing with that. Granted, uh, there are some good days and bad days with it. There'll be some times where it won't take any of my discs at all. Where technically, like, when I try to stick it in there... Oh my. But basically, when I try to do that, uh, basically what happens is that I'll try to, but the disc will not take at all. It just will not go in the system at all, like period, bar none. So, I mean, it will do that on certain days, but now it seems like it's been doing that more than ever. Like, it's not just, you know, good and bad days. It's a constant struggle, and I had to do my very best in order to get it to not get me to a constant struggle so i have to do different methods that don't involve me taking out a ps3 because i'm not like a technician in order for me to like fix a ps3 like i'm not a big technician on that so it has it has been having its ups and downs recently where i would have to find some kind of magical way for the disk drive to actually make it take the actual blu-rays and whatnot and i mean don't get me wrong i do have like my pc to watch like dvds but most of the things are just like not combo packs like some of them are just like plain old blu-rays and i want to watch the rest of the shit on blu-ray which kind of sucks because it defeats the purpose but if you're not i did find some methods that did actually work like you know there's a butter knife technique where you can hit part of like the drive to you know turn the the, the little thing like I've seen it like in, in videos I've seen it in videos like on YouTube videos how people take out their ps3s and it's just like damn now that's a process like I did not expect like to do it's like a like a I don't know how to describe what's called a gear I think it's called like one of the gears to control like the actual drive of the disc to take them in and I think you have to use like a butter knife technique or a spoon or something. But make sure you do have your system off though, just saying while doing it. And while I little behold, uh, when I did it to the side, it worked just fine. And then I was able to play everything else. But the next day, still the same fucking problem. Uh, so I'm still trying that. It worked. Then the other day, pfft, it won't work. Hell, I even tried to go on by Netflix on there. It just doesn't really work. It's like, oh, well, I'll just get a PS4 though and upgrade. It's like, well, I just, I have my PC. I have Switch. That's all the gaming stuff I need, man. PC and Switch for life, man. I mean, PS4, I will get it down the line for certain exclusives that obviously I missed out on. But I'll be, like, down the line one day, or if I ever feel like getting it one day. But we'll keep in mind. We'll see what happens with that. But um, it's, it's not like the PS3 is, like, completely kaput. Like, it works to some degree. But the bad news is even the digital stuff. You know, it's bad when the digital stuff won't work. So it's still able to power on, still able to do that. I guess, like I said, it could have its good and bad days where the disk drive will be able to like somewhat work and then like it doesn't. So it's like really fucking weird. So yeah, I mean, I mean, it's possible. Like, I mean, I, again, I don't know how to do anything to take out the PS3 and stuff like that, but you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm trying like every method. Uh, it's been about a good, whew, Jesus, almost a whole decade since I have my PS3. Can you believe that shit? It's been like almost a whole decade. It's been like at least like a good 10 years since I had it. And that's like my only Blu-ray player. Like, yes, I know there's some Blu-ray players you could get that are on the cheaper side. There are some now, like compared to back then, where it was far more conveniently expensive. Nowadays, they're not that expensive. Well, I can't say that expensive, depending. Some of them could run you for like $70 the cheapest. I don't know about six, maybe like $70, $80. But there's some like really, really incredible ones, but I could run you like in the hundred something dollar range though. 
Just keep that in mind, though. It's like a hundred something dollar range. That's not too bad. But still, just, you know, get what you pay for. Just saying. Uh, but yeah. So a little side story on that before I begin the unboxing. So hopefully I'll be able to check some of these out. Certain days for my PS3 ain't nothing like that. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. How I get you a little update story. So be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe, click that bell, join the squad boys. Follow me plugins plugins and gamer tags. Without further ado, let's get this shit started. All right. So, yeah, anyways, unless anybody knows down in the comment section below some other crazy methods that can work completely easy without taking it apart or fixing it like that, which, oh boy, that's a pain he has to do, and I've seen a lot of people do it, so, yeah. Anyway, first things first, uh, this is based off the anime. I want to get this one out of the way first before I do the other one. This is definitely based on, of course, the anime I know and love. Been riding with the series for many, many decades now. Um, well, like, I can't say, well... Well, yeah, I guess I could say, yeah. Well, now jumping into this decade as well. And it's been a big part of me ever since growing up in high school and stuff like that. Me getting, finally getting into the series back then. Now going into me in my 30s. Yeah, I know. It's been a pretty long time. But yeah, still going. Well, it might be over within the next four to three years. If I'm not mistaken, according to Oda, about another three to four years. But yeah, I thought I was making a joke that this series is going to make, uh, gonna end in my midlife crisis but I guess uh, that's uh, not the case anymore so hmm I guess it was halfway but anyways yeah so this is based on the one and only straw hat monkey D Luke B of course One Piece season 11 voyage 2 baby and for the first time obviously on DVD and on blu-ray so you get best of both worlds you get the DVD and you get the blu-ray combo pack so at least I do have the combo pack so it's not just blu-ray uh, I do like the cover here. Oh, yeah. Can I show the back of it? And you got the cool stuff with Fujitora. You got the stuff for Dress Versa with Green Bay. With Law. So, yeah. Really cool stuff here in the back. Definitely really awesome. The cover, though, is really fucking weird. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense to go with this cover. But, like, still. Like, what the fuck? But, anyways, yeah. So. Alright. So, now, it's time for the piece of this stone. It's a hole to unbox it. Sorry I wasted, uh, not wasted, but like told you this longer story about the PS3, but it's just, you know, if anyone knows any kinds of other crazy methods, then that will just work automatically where it will keep on lasting like my disk drive for a pretty damn good while. Uh, just let me know. But until then, so let's unbox this bitch, alright, which we already did, that was quick. Like I said, wanted to get this one out of the way, because obviously, same old story. Same old story, song and dance, only this time it's two discs instead of one. <gasps> Fascinating. But yeah, so don't really need to show you too much there. Obviously, I just want to show you the cover and the back of it. Unboxed it. Yippee. Awesome. You know, maybe there's some glimmer of hope that I can have with, you know, these unboxings. Lol. And who though? Anyhow, so this one right here is something that I'm really excited for. And this is the, uh, what, 10th? Tenth? Yeah, 10th tenth box set. There's supposed to be three more box sets, I think, in total. Or two to three more box sets, I believe, in total. And then that would definitely wrap up this anime series. And it's glorious uh, HD on Blu-ray. Just Blu-ray alone, but I'm pretty sure that I could work it out to watch it. But yeah, anyways, this is definitely part of an amazing series. Uh, the final arc should be animated. Not sure about this year. It may not be... I think it's this year, maybe, if not, then possibly next year, which will be already 10 years since the anime was um, put on either on hiatus mode or just it ended at that point. So, yeah, this is the one starting the greatness of Ichigo Kurosaki, and it's going to feature one of Ichigo versus Yukiyota, one of my favorite fights in Bleach as far, in top tier, definitely in the top tier ranking, movie quality stuff right there. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Bleach... Uh, Blu-ray number 10, which is episodes 252 to 279. Yes, this does end the whole, um, the weird aftermath of the Sampato filler arc that we have. And then we finally move back to canon. So, yeah. So the whole Sorby stuff, uh, that is going to be done. And we're finally getting to this greatness, which I'm really happy for. So, yeah. Even though, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the Sampato arc. The second half of it, though... Some of the episodes I liked, some of them are just like, what the fuck ever. But yeah, um, but even though Bleach has really great filler arcs, they really do. Battle arc, at least, was pretty solid. It started off a bit slow, but kind of interesting. But like, it did have some like really cool build up and stuff for the most part. But then there was some like other stuff about the battle arc that kind of felt like whatever and 
Didn't really feel that connected, but had some pretty cool fights though overall. Some really underrated ones. So yeah, I like the the bad cover, especially with Ichigo with the with the Hollow Cracked with the Vestal Lordis form. That's very cool. So very excited, and this will definitely get me hyped. Maybe eventually down the line, I'll do like a Bleach rewatch of all of it. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll at least I'll have almost all the Bleach fully completed on Blu-ray, which is a lot easier compared to getting all those like freaking volume DVDs, which are like ridiculous and are expensive now. So now I have it in this beautiful HD 1080p collection, which I'm very excited to see. Um, all right, wow, the, the unboxings are really easy today. Jesus, I go from like a long story to like really not so hard unboxings, but yeah. And anyways, so we got that out of the way. Let's take a look. Oh, the back is different as I expected. The back is different. Number 10. That is cool as hell. You got Rukia, you got Byakuya, you got, um, course, oh, fuck, what was his name? Uh, Kiriku, Kiaku, I think his name is. The guy with the fucking hat, the, the pink Komodo. Um, Ukitake, I know is the one with the gray hair. Isagi, fucking epic number. 69, bitches. Nice, 69. All right, so back cover obviously is the most different. Really cool stuff. Enjoy that. Really dope stuff. Oh, and we get a, oh, let's fucking go. We get a very nice reversible cover of uh, Yukiyota, obviously, and probably Ichigo. But here are the discs. Obviously, here's the first one, and surprisingly, it did not fail me like it, you know, like it usually does, which is really odd. What's the other disc? This two, this three, and I believe we have. Number four, yep, and the fourth disc. All right, really, really cool. Very awesome. Okay, so it's just uh, Yukiola. Watch closely. This is the moment that the man you put your hope in will lose his life. Oh, shit, damn. Really edgy as fuck, though. Jesus. I forgot, like, how edgy uh, Yukiola could, like, really be. But, yeah, that's really cool. You get him as, like, a reversible cover in that film, though. That's pretty dope, so. All right. Pretty cool stuff. All right, I enjoy that, so, yeah. And, of course, you get him on the front cover. I'm looking all badass in that form. So, pretty excited for that. All right. So, there you go. Uh, just to recap real quick. Uh, let's get that. Uh, uh, One Piece, Season Lemon Voice 2. And, of course, we just saw Bleach. Not much. This is the only two recent anime that did just get released this month. Not so much. Like, I guess with current world events from whatever happened for delays last year, we're not going to get too many new releases of anime probably this year but i am well speaking of there is certain things that are being re-released like the pokemon season sets i'm gonna be on the quest to get the diamond and pearl ones to, you know celebrate the 25th anniversary don't worry about that pokemon fans i will get back to that which is the diamond and pearl stuff and after diamond and pearl there is finally after all this time right it's about fucking time they did this black and white finally has a dvd box here. the price is fucking ridiculous though like, dude, the price, I'm like, dude, with this price alone for the black and white complete, like, is this complete season or complete series? I'm looking at it online right now. I swear to God, this better have all of it in it, because that, how could you sell it for that price? That shit better go down by, like, the next few months, because I heard it's supposed to be, what, in, like, July, I think it comes out, and that is the black and white, uh, Pokemon series. I don't know if it's, like, the first series of black and white, then there's, like, the, I think there's, like, two more parts, like, series of them. If I'm not mistaken, there's like two more series of Black and White. But that's crazy, though. Like, I have the movies, but like, bro, that's crazy. It better have like the entirety of Black and White. Otherwise, well, I'm pretty sure maybe it's just like a for now, like a temporary price. Maybe it'll go down a lot more once like people like pre order it and pre presents goes up, which makes sense. But yeah, um, overall, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, by the way. Of all the cool, awesome stuff of the anime, I mean, the two anime unboxings that I did, then yeah, finally I was able to get these bad boys unboxed. And yeah, don't worry about the gaming stuff, uh, there'll be more coming on the way. Hope you guys enjoyed the PvP stuff with Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Uh, tomorrow, there is going to be a Santa Hed speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow, a Santa Hedgehog live stream celebrating its 30th anniversary. Which I'm super excited for, by the way. Which is going to be pretty cool. I'm very excited for that. That is going to be dope as hell. I will try to hopefully catch it if I can. But due to work tomorrow, we'll see. Um, hopefully I can try to catch at least most of it. I really want to see what they're going to announce. 
minus a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, I'm pretty sure they're going to get, like, either a brand new game or a collection of sorts, HD, remaster, 4K, whatever you want to do, of a lot of Sonic games, including the 3D ones, like Adventure, maybe Sonic Heroes, or maybe even Sonic Colors, even further beyond, like Sonic Colors, maybe Sonic Unleashed, if they really want to. The Storybook games is a possibility, but I don't know how that will work. But yeah, um, that's going to be cool. Speaking of the gaming stuff, that's going to be uh, tomorrow. So that'll be a, a live reaction thing for the Sonic event that's coming up. So yeah. Uh, speaking of like Let's Play series, I do apologize. Those should be coming up soon. Um, the Persona 5 Strikers ones are like ridiculous when it comes to the timeline. I do apologize for that. Pro new Pokemon Snap isn't like that bad when it comes to lengths of videos. But like still, I should be hopefully almost done with new Pokemon Snap. But I think there are some things I did miss. I have to backtrack, so I'll edit and then I'll just do that, which I may have to do. But yeah, until then, folks, that is basically it for this video. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. And don't forget, guys, if you want, you could subscribe, you know, comment, rate, like the video, spread the word of my channel to your loved ones, family members, uncles, aunts, cousins, brothers, sisters. Mom, dad, grand dad, grand ma, um, for the installs, <laughs> just kidding, family pets, hey, maybe, maybe the pets you love too, yeah, man, just to spread the word, definitely really appreciate it, really helps a lot the channel, thank you very much, so, yeah, if you want to see other stuff, you know, live reactions, slash reviews, both live reaction tomorrow, there you go, that, uh, gameplay stuff, finally, some let's plays, hopefully the end of June, not sure if that's going to be a bit delayed though, but we'll see, um, stuff like that. Um, also, um, yeah, you know, if you want to see stuff like that, unboxings, video game related channel, uh, let's plays, um, also, you know, live reaction slash reviews, um, I guess, yeah, just other random stuff, or random updates, I guess, in general, probably, for some news. I apologize for the JoJo fans, I should have done one for, like, part six when that got announced, which I'm hyped as fuck for, by the way, but yeah. Until then, that's it. Definitely ch catch you guys in the next one, uh, for reals this time. Uh, but yeah, also, I did realize though, I reached over 630 subs so far. I got, I, I got, I'm, I'm crawling up a bit with subscribers, like, every day. There's a new sub there, a new sub here, a new sub there, and then another fucking one right there. So, thank you all for that. So, that's great. Thank you all so much for the support, and stay awesome as always. So, good night, good morning, good evening, where you guys are at. Stay golden, stay awesome, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. Um, God and all <laughs> is the limit because, you know, One Piece, God and all, baby. Hopefully he'll come back, maybe. So, Aaron Malga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And, yeah, that's pretty much it.